Grandpa Newby reporting for duty with the second half of the Jack Protean Rowl aftermarket kit. And this is the Rowl in the one-shot configuration. Now, when I first got the Jack Protean, all of the numbers showed up as if this were a single-shot weapon. And then somehow that went away. So when we look at the numbers, just remember, I'm not going to be able to give you the damages and the kill times and all that with the Jack Protean configured in single shot. So let's take a look at it. And there we are. You can see that the damage goes down, actually. Recoil goes down, not that we're really worried about it. Rate of fire, though, actually goes up. And that's for the Jack Protean configured in the fully auto mode. So they've really messed this up. Mobility goes down, but it's still pretty quick at 4.3 meters per second for an LMG. Sprint speed at 4.9 meters per second. ADS movement speed, 2.6 meters per second, which is fairly reasonable for an LMG. And then the sprint to fire speed is significantly impacted, but look at the composite number there based on the other attachments I've hung on this weapon, and that is 108 milliseconds. So it's a very fast sprint to fire time. ADS speed is on the slow side at 302 milliseconds. Let's look at some of the other attachments. The Bruin Q900 grip wrap gives us a significant boost to our sprint to fire speed, 23%. ADS speed, it helps out. Recoil, it impacts that at 6%. Let's look at the damages though. 44 all the way down. Effective damage range is 41.9 meters, so that's awesome. With a minimum damage range of almost 60 meters. Fire rate of 658.5 rounds per minute. Now in single shot, that's not going to be the case. In fact, you're going to get about one and a half to two rounds per second on that. And that's just with hand testing. It could be slower, could be faster. The demo folding stock, and that significantly helps the mobility speed. In fact, the ADS movement speed is up almost 20%. Crouch movement speed, which I really don't do at 22%. Better movement speed is 10% better. ADS speed, a full 11% better in sprint to fire. Another 23% decrease, giving us the 108 milliseconds, which is lightning fast for just about any weapon. Shadow Strike Suppressor doesn't do anything good, anything bad, but it does keep us off the map. I chose that instead of the Quartermaster because you can see the Quartermaster impacts sprint to fire and ADS speed, and I didn't need the recoil control. And finally, the 50 round belt. Now, the 50 round belt helps significantly with mobility and handling, ADS movement speed, almost almost 25% better. The reload quickness is 20% better. The sprint to fire speed is pushing 40% better. So the 50 round mag is definitely a must for this weapon if you're going to fire it in single shot in 50 rounds. That's a lot of single shot attempts. So let's take the Rao one shot into the shooting range and see how it does. First of all, you have to toggle the hybrid off. You can leave the ACOG type side up if you like. I prefer the reflex type. The other thing you need to do and look down in the lower right is to hit your D-pad once to the, to the left and you can see that now we're in single shot mode. So let's see what the recoil does in single shot. Oh, by the way, an, a fair amount of aim idle sway if you just keep this thing aimed down. When you first aim down, it's pretty accurate. And you can see that despite all the recoil, as fast as I can shoot this thing, it just recenters itself. Now let's go ADS, no recoil control, and that was 50 rounds. Stays pretty steady. Not controlling the recoil there. Let's see if we can approximate how many shots it takes to kill. First the headshot at 25 meters. And let's see if I can deal with the aim idle sway. There was a headshot, didn't kill. The second headshot, so it's two headshots at 25 meters. What about 10 meters or 15? There, single shot to the head will gack them. Now let's go for the torso. One, two kills, one, two kills. So it's a two shot kill to the torso all the way out to about 30 meters. I don't know how far that is out there. Maybe one of you can comment and tell me. But let's take this row with the Jack Protean kit, put it in single fire mode, see how it does for grandpa, see what it does to his friendly and willing to die enemies. Let's go.
Grandpa in his favorite testing mode, free for all, and just wait for somebody to come around. They always bulldog. Well, not always, evidently. And there's the first gack of the game for Grandpa. The second is proximity mine. This weapon, it's pretty fast. I mean, you can run around with it. It's not as fast as yesterday's DG58 with a Jack Nightshade, but it's still quick, and it shoots quickly. I prefer, like I said, the reco uh, the re reflex over the re ACOG sight. Ooh. Grandpa experienced a sliding death there. The, the one thing I don't like having to do is continuously switch. I wish you could default it just like you can to single shot. I wish you could default it to the reflex sight. Oh, 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 it didn't run in the right place, but there's a headshot which deletes people. It derezzes them, sends their pixels into orbit. Grandpa is looking for somebody. Um, it's a little bit longer map here. Wide open spaces. And I think that's a good test of this weapon because that's probably how I would use it. A few more lanes. Up close and in your face maps like Das House. I don't know how it would do to be honest with you. Maybe we can get that one next. Put out the mosquito. Go do work, my child. But Grandpa likes rushing fast, building angles, especially in free-for-all. He also likes people that step in paint. And you can see that the two-shot kill is very, very quick. The one-shot's even better to the head. Oh, there was somebody over there. There we go, finally, the third try. And you, you actually shock people with this weapon because they think they have a bead on you. They may even put a few rounds into you, and then you just delete them. You hit the delete key. Oh, step on that. That was a delete key with a headshot point blank, so that works too. Grandpa's a little behind in this game. A little surprised. This is one of my better maps. Look what that guy's doing. Looks like he's squatting on nothing there. There we go. Takes some time to change out that ACOG. All right, that guy, we're just going to bracket him with bullets because we have 50 rounds. That's the good thing. And other marksman-type rifles like the KVD Enforcer that has similar kill numbers, you don't have rounds like you have here. In fact, I don't know if I ever really needed to change out the magazine, even when I went on streaks. You know, that guy came across shooting, but the shock weapon deleted him. Once you get a cluster mine in free-for-all, it's almost GG's. As long as you put it in a higher traffic spot. Uh, some paint there. Things shoot straight as an arrow, the recoil restraightens it after you make a shot you can see there i'm not controlling the recoil at all during this entire game because there's no need for it the guy's tweaking around the corner and gets deleted that might have been the second place guy at the, or the guy that's currently second man on fire there he is again Whoa, almost didn't see him. See, that's the difference in a good skin. I didn't see that guy. Those 50 rounds, you just keep just keep throwing out the lead, putting hope in the air. I don't know who the crossfire was, but let's put out the mosquito. 
I think there's somebody all the way at the end. Good test. And we picked off Flaming Man. Of course, Grandpa is going to teach you how to dance here. Two for one. John Travolta. A little bit of boogie oogie. So that was one in the torso, one in the head. All right, perform well, but on a map that has lanes. And so Grandpa got his wish, and this was awful. Have Spartacus come out after Grandpa, and heaven knows. I mean, these bullets are flying everywhere in Doss House. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. You just don't stand around on this map. I mean, even if you're not standing around, somebody's going to get you with a static. That's perfect, perfect, perfect. There we go. There are some short lanes. Oh, Muppet. A leafy Muppet. Muppet. There's leafy Muppet. There's Night Cream Face. And his buddy puts one in Grandpa's ear. Elvis goes down the king. What is that? The mummy. The, the mummy with gold wraps. Call him Rap Star Mummy. Oh. He threw a knife at Grandpa. There's a green leafy man. And a Muppet gets Grandpa. Surprising. I was kind of shocked that I was tied for first. Just keep throwing out the lead. Get rid of the ACOG. Grandpa's not big on ACOGs. And this was definitely a Spartacus. Camping Spartacus with the Renetti. The weapon's performing okay close in, but I just can't seem to put any distance between me and the field here. That guy's going to go. Ah, oh, he was Elvis the King. See, some of the gacks are almost an afterthought. You keep putting out enough lead. There's Night Cream Face, who happens to be Elvis. You put out, you put out enough lead. Ooh, there goes somebody. Hip shot. And surprisingly, there's Night Cream Face again. We're back tied. It's Green Leafy Man with a bow. So you think he's Chewbacca? That's one of the GG streaks in free for all. Oh, there comes somebody. Is he coming out there? Nope. There's Night Cream Face, who was the king. And the thing about it is, is you've hurt these guys. If you get that one shot in them, you've hurt them. So if I can put this thing down without getting gacked. There's a valid placement. Ooh. But Grandpa's opened some daylight. Oh, there it goes. Green leafy man. Chewbacca. With his crossbow. Maybe he's trying to rank it up. Headshot delete still. And now Grandpa's kind of on autopilot. Need three more GAX. Streaks will open it up. I gotta I'm gonna lie to you. At least not about this. There's green leafy Chewbacca. Come on. Just keep putting lead in the air. What a disgusting map with alien guts everywhere. Grandpa can't hardly concentrate and they gets gacked as he puts down the ACOG. There we go. And Chewbacca is muppetizing for the final kill. Okay, we'll dance. Just a little bit. Listening for insults. That's always the highlight of Grandpa's game. Hey, let me know how you do with the single shot version. I really liked it. Probably not a permanent class, but enjoyed it. 
Like and subscribe is always appreciated. It helps me, helps the family. Cheers and peace to you.